Okay, if I wanted to set up differential ailerons, I would go into the models and I'd create a new model. Select the default, airplane, create. And then I'd go down to that model and it's right there. And I'd set the number of channels that I want to be able to see in the monitor screen. And then come out. And we've got that model. So next, I would power up the receiver. Since we're dealing with the AS3X safe receiver. I'd put it into bind mode and I'd click bind and hold the button. Okay. Then I'd go into forward programming and I would factory reset this receiver so that nothing is disturbed in it. And I might save what's in it to back up just to have it. But then I'd do a factory reset. And it goes to bind mode with the new firmware. And it's sitting there blinking, so we'll click bind. Bind it again. Bind complete. DSMX 22 milliseconds. Telemetry. And it goes through this again. All right. Now we go to model setup, aircraft type, and then we change the wing type to dual aileron. Now that we have that, we'll come out of there and we'll come out of that and go to model adjust. And now we have the differential. Naturally it does that. They ought to fix that. Uh, we go into differential. And it's not on a switch. So if you want it on all the time, you turn it on. If you want it on the switch, then choose a switch. And you can use the uh, on-the-fly uh, setting if you have the latest firmware. But we're not going to do that. So we're just going to set it to 30% and see what happens. Click OK. Now, if I move the aileron stick... So the left aileron on channel six goes to 100%, but the right aileron, and I've moved the stick to the left, by the way, the right aileron is going to 70. So there is a 30% difference. The downgoing aileron has 30% less throw than the upgoing. And if I go to right aileron, the right has 100, and the left aileron has 70, 30% difference. So Whatever you set this to, that's how much less the servo moves in the downgoing direction. So it's working. It's there. Um, if the servos go the wrong way, then I would go into um, servo setup and I would reverse whichever, whichever aileron is going the wrong way. Maybe both of them are, or just one. So get them going the right direction using the reversing. And that's basically it. Um, now, if you don't want to use ports two and six, then you can go into channel assign. And you can see that two is in a 
and six is NA because they've been assigned to left and right later on. But if you want to move the channel to a different port, you go to RX port assignment. And here you see that port number two is right aileron and port number six is left. Now, this is the normal standard way to do it. There's not really any reason to do it a different way. Um, I mean, gear is on uh, five normally. Now, uh, if you were doing tailorons or some extra channels somehow, dual elevator servos, whatnot, and you had an eight channel receiver, and for some reason the transmitter assigned one of the channels to port nine, well, you need to move port nine, whatever's on port nine, to a channel that uh, has a port assigned to it. So, and of course, you can use the ports above the servo ports, the channels above the servo ports for uh, the receiver's uh, gyro modes, uh, gain, whatnot. So, don't use one of your first uh, six or eight or ten channels, depending on what receiver you have for the gyro modes and the gains use the channels above the ports so that you're not giving away a port that you might want to use for a servo or some function anyway um, i don't know what else to tell you it's not that hard good luck